Hey, it's Kevtech here bringing you another video in IT. So today I want to go over real quick. This is getting back to basics, another video on that. So I want to go over how to create user accounts on Windows 7 and Windows 10. So real quick, on Windows 7 you could do it two ways. You could type control panel, go to user accounts. It's really important if you if you if you um trying to take an exam, the 8 plus exam, which is the entry level IT exam, you have to know how to do this. Um, of course, you, if you're not doing that, of course, you just want to create an account for like your, your kid, your, your son and daughter, and you don't want them to have access to certain stuff, you could create an account. You, you should make yourself the administrator, which is the first account when you sign in with the computer, when you first log into a computer, and then just create multiple accounts for certain people in your house so they, they can't download or do anything. So we're going to do manage another account. Make sure the guest is always off. I mean, you can keep, you can turn it on if you like. As if people are coming in that come come in from your house and you don't want them to log in with no password or nothing, they can just log into that account. So you do create a new account. I always do standard account, so it would be like like, uh, let's just call it for kids. We we'll call it kids. Create account. So now you have one called for kids, and then you could set up parental control on it, which is going to be kind of cool you could put parental control on this um, you can enforce stuff on it and then you could change you could change what you want them to have access to so that's what I wanted to show you so I just created an account so this is one way to create an account if you want to delete the account you just go back to control panel or you or I'll show you the next way how to do it or you could go into uh, you could go into uh, just change account type oh. manage another account this account and then delete the account delete file delete account so if you if you don't if you don't want to have you want the you want to do the easy way which is I guess like the easy way to do it just hit right click here Computer, hit manage, um, users, and then right click on the blank screen, and then you can just call it a kid, kids, or I guess you call it like children account, children, and then that's when it expires, and you just leave it blank. You could just log into this one, and then you right click on it, hit properties, member, and just keep it as a user. You could add them to other groups if you like. Um, some of the groups that we have, we do find now, they're right here. You can add them to other groups. Um, if you want to know what the groups are, what they do, you can just go to groups and it tells you here what, what they're able to do. I would like to keep them on the, on the, on the user ones because the user ones, they can't do anything. It, it's actually, it actually stops them from doing certain things. And then I would just put parental control on it. That's basically what you would do with that one. If you want to do it on a on a Windows 10 machine, it's uh it's a lot it's the same thing. You hit the little C or Windows Explorer or Fire Explorer. The uh, that's one way to get into it. The other way would be hitting C and then the little dots and then opening that up, and then you will right click on this PC, hit Manage, and then you hit Users, and then hit New User, and then you just call it kids or whatever and then you can put a password on it and then that's it and then you create the account there if you want to delete it you could delete it the other way it would be in control panel uh, user accounts user accounts change your account manage another account add a new user here you have to be connected to Microsoft, otherwise it doesn't let you do it. So that's why I, I did it the other way, because it's much more easier to do. We could just right click here and hit manage and then create the account. And that's about it. That's how you will create an account. Right now my computer is doing Windows updates on Windows 7, which is fine. We'll leave that back there in the background. And that's how you will create an, an account. And um, if you have any questions or concerns or you need assistance with that, feel free to reach out to me. I hope everyone has a great day. And... Uh, Happy Thursday.